Hi everyone, Dr. Danish is here. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to talk about different types of acne scars and the truth about uh, the treatment of each one of those. I hope this video helps you to make an informed decision whether or not you wanted to do something for your acne scars. I'm also very excited to show you uh, some of my before and after pictures which have been collected uh, within the last 25 years of my practice. These videos are all made out of love and the duty of uh, spreading the word. Uh, I believe people should make an informed decision about, about their health and well-being. That's why I'm uh, producing these videos for you and uh, I'm, I'm trying to do my part. So uh, if you find these videos uh, helpful and you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe to uh, spread the word and to stay healthy and informed. So before I start uh, my discussion about the acne scars, uh, I just wanted to emphasize that in medicine, prevention is always better than treatment. So I wanted to ask all of you uh, that have some sort of breakouts or even uh, light acnes, uh, like acne vulgaris, up to even um, worst one, which is nodular cystic acne, to get it cleared as soon as possible. And uh, I will have a video and even, uh, even more videos uh, in terms of how we can actually get rid of uh, the uh, acnes and uh, in different forms and what is the ultimate treatment for each one of those and how we can actually get rid of acnes uh, in most cases without pharmaceuticals. Also, you could check out the great effects of healthy lifestyle on acne and uh, breakouts um, in my previous video. I added a link uh, somewhere in the page uh, with the sign I. If you click on that, you could actually watch the video. So let's start our discussion. Hyperpigmentation acne scars, as you can see here and in this area, uh, these are the accumulation of uh, melanin and melanocytes in one spot, in this case as a result of acne. Uh, as you know, in this type, uh, you could apply hydroquinone, which is a constituent of an herb and or fruit acids, such as glycolic acid or salicylic acid, with higher percentages without using a machine, especially if it has happened uh, recently. Sometimes the hyperpigmentation is old and that is why it is intradermal uh, or inside the skin or in the bottom of the uh, skin uh, in which case peeling is needed to bring the pigments up to the surface and then it could be removed by peeling or products such as hydrokinin as mentioned before. For this reason in this case I recommend microabrasion sessions, at least for 10 sessions, uh, to be able to get rid of the uh, brown spots. Uh, also, we could use uh, peeling, deep peeling, considering the skin type and the patient's environment. Another type of acne scar is box scar scar, uh, as if a little man uh, making some impressions with uh, boxing uh, the face. Subcision is a good treatment in this case in which uh, your doctor opens up the hard sclerotic tissue inside the skin or even from hypodermis underneath the skin and then fills the gaps with fillers which could be hyaluronic acid fillers. It's better to be hyaluronic acid fillers. Uh, hyaluronic acid is a product that we have all over our body especially in our skin and connective tissue underneath the skin and inside our skin. There is another procedure called punch excision in which uh, your doctor removes the scar tissue and suture the edges of the skin. Fraxel laser microabrasion, nanofractional radio frequency and plaxer are all helpful in uh, acne scars uh, at this point and uh, in fact combination of different treatments could give uh, the patient the best result. Rolling acne scars are more superficial than box scar. Um, however, with aging and losing volume, 
from dermis and hypodermis, they will be more visible and increase the depth of that indentation where they are settled, just like here. The good news is that uh, facial fillers are very helpful in these cases, especially when your doctors have enough experience on how uh, to deliver the hyaluronic acid fillers and where to put the facial fillers in which layers uh, or in between which layers and the material that they're using in each case. Just like box scar acne scars, uh, in this case, uh, fractional laser, microabrasion, and other forms of peeling or a combination of all is effective. Eye speck scar is just like skin tear. As you can see here, uh, there is a skin tear and the deep indentation with sharp edges. So uh, it could be made by cystic acne or nodular cystic acne. Chemical pill could be done. However, this should be done by your doctor for sure. Punch biopsy, as mentioned before, could be helpful. Also, fractional laser, microneedling, and uh, non-fractional radiofrequency or thermage uh, could be helpful as well. Uh, but the effects and the results are minimal uh, because as mentioned before, there are sharp edges here that is not going away with uh, any procedure. In one case, one of my patients went under the surgery where they remove the uh, whole skin, uh, the surface layers of the skin, uh, hoping that is actually regenerating itself, but uh, it ended up having the same number of uh, acne scars. Uh, unfortunately, it's very hard to treat. Keloid is a growth uh, on the skin as a result of hyperproliferation of fibrotic tissue. Uh, so the fibrotic tissue or the fibroblasts uh, that are magical cells, in this case, uh, the hyperactivity of these uh, fibroblasts uh, could make this kind of uh, um, hypertrophic scar. And the treatment is almost not possible. Even if you remove the hypertrophic scar or keloid, uh, it will return to the same size or just a bit smaller. Sometimes surgery makes them even worse. Here is one of my patients. And in this patient, uh, you can see all sorts of acnes uh, from acne vulgaris, which is this one, uh, up to nodular cystic acne, which is this one. Uh, and then uh, you can see even hyperpigmentations in these areas and also this one. So only with the help of diet and lifestyle change and some local treatments such as microdermabrasion and day and night creams, we can get uh, the results that you can see in the after picture. And uh, also uh, we need to understand when we apply the microdermabrasion probe, uh, we shouldn't apply it on the active acne, such as this one, or the nodular cystic acne, which is this one. So it's better to uh, apply the microembrasion on the areas that is already hyperpigmented or um, on the acne that is already uh, getting better. Uh, also, to peel off the skin to be able to remove the uh, brown spots and uh, the um, scars, the hyperpigmentation scar and indented scars uh, or even hypertrophic scars. Here is another one of my patients. If you take a look at the uh, scars from the acne, you could find uh, almost all sorts of uh, acne scars except the uh, hypertrophic scar. Uh, this one uh, is ice picked. Uh, the other one is um, the uh, box scar. You could also find rolling scar. Uh, which is making some indentation, but is smoother. Uh, here is another one, uh, which is ice picked. Uh, so ice picked scar, as I mentioned before, is a scar that has some edges, sharp edges, and uh, it's really hard to get rid of. So that's why in after picture, you could see the same uh, ice picked scar here, 
uh, still there and uh, it's not uh, gotten better but all other form of acne scars have gotten better as you can see we talked about the uh, box scar scar and the rolling scars here and here um, you can find these uh, the after picture it's really hard to find uh, in this area this whole area also uh, uh, when you take a look at the before picture we have some uh, little um, raised nodule here which is called uh, milia as you can see there is no signs of milias in the temporal area this area uh, and the reason being is that a uh, patient changed the lifestyle and diet uh, to the point that it's actually decreasing the um, sebaceous gland uh, discharge and uh, there's less oily skin so then uh, she didn't get uh, that much of breakouts uh, that's why she didn't have uh, much of these milias because milias is an accumulation of uh, fat and dehydration on the surface of the skin. In general, healthier skin and more good looking face. So I'm really proud of my patients because they not only change the diet and lifestyle, but they also religiously uh, coming for the um, sessions uh, which was micron abrasions in both cases uh, 10 sessions uh, once in a week or once every other week could really help to resurface the skin uh, it's actually started session five to seven to see some results to see that uh, the depth of each acne scar are getting uh, uh, fill, uh, filled out and getting better and uh, resurfaced uh, so we need to wait a little bit for at least five to six sessions and then uh, you're going to get the best result uh, in session 10 to 12. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next videos.